They just said, yeah, no, we don't have a street number, and that was about it. Um, so that's been fun so far. Uh, we're about to embark on, on the 23-minute walk, which will hopefully yield a, a, a usable location. We just have absolutely no idea. Becky, thoughts on the cupcake? Yummies. Do you want to mention its veganity or anything? Or? Caramel. All right. Mm. So we're on Canadian soil at the moment. We're at the embassy after having to get the second set uh, attempt at getting the right photos for the application, but we needed to get them printed out about five times. Yet again. Yet again, and I kept need trying to tell them how they needed to do the photos, and they kept telling me that they'd done them a million times. Got here, the first thing that the, um, the person said was that there was too much of my torso, which I'd said about five times at the Photoshop, and that it probably wouldn't get accepted, and I freaked out. But, um, yeah, well, we'll they said they're going to put it through and see how it goes, but I must admit I'm a, I'm a little bit worried, especially given how much money I've now spent on these things. Um, citizenship photos totaling to $45 so let's let's hope that something my sister got done properly for $12 was done properly throughout my $45 being spent so we're now back in New South Wales after having yeah thank you Becky after having finished handing in all the paperwork and, and photos and stuff I'm filled with a horrible terrible rage after having spent $45 on photos and such but now we're headed home and hopefully everything will be okay so we've been at this petrol station for about five minutes now. There are two free pumps over there. They are the only free pumps in the petrol station. And that car is on without a person in it. I, I, I am amazingly pissed off. So we are um, at a service station in Euroa, um, which is the biggest service station I've ever seen in my life. Um, it has banana and everything. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, I am endlessly impressed by it, and it might be because low expectations have been set by a combination of roadworks and nothing um, for the last 250 kilometers, 300 kilometers, but I mean, we, we passed Albury, and that was the first thing that we even, like, the first signs of life that we saw after um, Gundagai, my least favourite <laughs> favorite town in the history of mankind. Uh, I'm, a, I'm aware there's a remote possibility that someone from Gundagai will see this. Um, and uh, to, to explain again, it is your town's fault for a combination of, one, not having a working petrol station in the heart of it, um, and two, that guy at the other petrol station way outside of town who parked blocking pumps for about 10 minutes while not actually getting any in petrol. Um, but this petrol station is just huge. Like, I cannot believe the size of it. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop going on about it because my burger is probably coming. 
The banana's back. All right, good. Uh, bananas are good. So I should actually label what it is that I was, what we were laughing at. This is this is the burger that I'm ordering, and this is the way it is spelled on the menu. Um, good old big fashion hamburger. Huh? Sorry, I'm hor I'm horrendously impolite, and um, and am an editor, so there's no like something getting by me without a laugh. Luckily, it's just a laugh. This burger is taller than it is wide. I don't know, I, uh, hmm. It's 11.30 at night, I'm finally back in Melbourne, and the road trip is now over. Um, I hope that the video was entertaining, though. If you think you can get away with not subscribing to Carpe Clinics, think again.